son better be all right. Your son will be very surprised to hear that you cared. What are you talking about? I feel very sorry for you, Mr. Gaylord. You're a hero to strangers. And a stranger to your own children. All right, come on, you need help. Why you give me the gun? I warned you, man! That's a no-no. my hands on the guy who invented the tie. Come on, it's not that bad. Well, if it's not that bad, then how come they call a hanging a necktie party? <laughs> how come we gotta be so fancy just to take care of a couple of kids? Because they're Lance Gaylord's kids, that's why. Big deal, movie star. I tell you, this is one job I'd like to pass on. Those kids are brats. Hey, are you judging people again? Come on, you know what I mean. No, I don't. I mean, that's the trouble with people. They start out with a preconceived notion of what someone's gonna be like. All right, all right. Wait and see. Now look at that, sweet old lady. I'd be a lot happier if we had an assignment to help her. You going to fire or something? You see what I mean about preconceived notions? Probably a lone car. My chair. Huh? It's my chair. It has my name on. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice there's so many empty chairs. We worked hard to get to the point of having our own chair. I hope you will respect that from now on. Yes, ma'am. Catch that action? Yeah. 
Boys, you're gonna grow up to be a doozy. Lance, I can change it any way you want. I but... told you what I wanted yesterday. And I changed it. You call that a change. You switch a couple of words. I'm talking a major rewrite here. But I just wanted to do what I thought you wanted. And you were wrong. Now, why don't you get to work and stop wasting my time arguing about your mistakes? Yeah. Okay. I'll get on it right now. I'll be in my room when you're ready. Mr. Gaylord? I, um, I don't sign autographs when I'm working. Oh, no, we're not here for that. We're from the Darwin Agency. Oh, yeah. You weren't supposed to be here till 1230. Yeah, it was kind of hard to judge the traffic on the freeway. We'll, we'll wait if you'd like. No, come on. Let's get it over with. Nothing to shoot till it gets written anyway. We'll talk in here. Sit down. Okay. Can I see your references? Yeah. Mark, where is Says here your next cop. Yeah. Got a license to carry a gun? No. We can handle just about anything that comes along. Well, oh, yeah, my friend can handle just about anything that comes along. I'm not paranoid, you know. But a man in my position can't help but worry. I mean, it's a lot different for my kids. No, we understand that. Okay. Kids will fly in private jet on Friday. All the information's in here. The arrival time and the address in BH. B.H. Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. Your main duties will be to see the kids have a good time. You know, take them wherever they want to go, whatever. This is the uh, first visit they've had since the divorce, so I want them to have a good time. Sounds easy enough. Just keep an eye on them. That means all the time. I pay well. I expect good service. You'll get it. Hoosh? Hoosh? Yes, sir. Bring the car up to the stage. These two will be taking it. You got it, boss. Hoosh will bring a limo. You'll be driving. Any questions? Uh, just one. Yeah, we were wondering about our hours. When you're needed, you work. Oh. But see, our boss kind of likes us to take one day a week and rest. Well, give me his number. I'll, I'll have my secretary call him. Nah, it's all right. He's kind of hard to reach by phone. We'll work any time you need us. All right. I have to get out there. I'll see you Friday at the house. Well, that was short and sweet. Yeah, I think he'd want to know a little more about the people who take care of his kids. Oh, like he said, he pays a lot of money. Expects the best. How much longer? You asked me that five minutes ago. What'd you say? 20 minutes. Now or then? What? 20 minutes now or 20 minutes five minutes ago? Now. I can't wait to see him. Karen, Brock, my name is Jonathan. Mark and I are here to pick you up. Where's my father? Well, he's real sorry, but he had to work today. What'd you expect? You kids hungry? We can stop and get something to eat. We're fine. Is my father at the house? 
Uh, it's pretty early. He's probably still at work. You sure you don't want to stop and get something to eat? For sure. How long have you worked for my father? Uh, it's our first day. He hired you to take care of us, didn't he? I uh, just kind of look after you while he was working. And to take us wherever we want to go and make sure we have a good time. Yeah, that's about it. My father's very good at that. At what? Buying friends for us. Touched your dinner. It's just the time change, Miss Bowles. It's hard to be hungry. No, all right. What time is it? Just a little after eight. Did my father say how late he'd have to work? No, he didn't. Uh, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Maybe that's him. He's always losing his keys. Daddy, Daddy, I missed you so. Hi, I'm Hoosh. Uh, you must be Karen. Is my father with you? Uh, no. He had a meeting tonight. He's going to be kind of late. He's really sorry. Oh, but looky here. He asked me to pick up a load of presents for you. Oh. I'm a pretty good toy picker out if I do say so myself. Well, uh, I'll just leave them here. Hope you like them. I'm sure I will. Thank you. You bet. Well, I'll see you around. Hey, come on, what are we waiting for? One thing I can't stand waiting for is opening presents. Let's get these upstairs and play. Will you play with us? Well, of course I will. As long as you promise to share, and if you'll let me open one of the presents. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on, Brock. Here we go. <laughs> I got it, see? I'm winning. <laughs> I haven't had my turn yet. Oh, that's right. That's probably why I'm winning. All right, go ahead. Okay. How many shots do I get? Oh, five. The same as me. But I'm little. Listen, I'm a grown-up. I don't have to be fair. Okay. I'm going to win you anyways. Hey, Brock, you got to try this. It's a great game. Oh. Got it. <laughs> yeah, you sure got that one all right. Take another shot. Okay. Five shots, right? All right, go. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Andy Oakley here. <laughs> Brock, Brock, stop it now. Come on, stop it. That's enough. Now, come on. I hate the toys. I don't want them. I don't want any of them. Stay. Miss Bowles could watch the children. No, I wasn't sure. <sighs> Kids get their toys? <laughs> yeah, they got them. I think they were more anxious to see you. Well, that's the uh, nature of the business. It's not nine to five. They'll be here a month. There's plenty of time. Yeah, that's true. Children are asleep. Okay. Be here tomorrow at nine. You can take the children somewhere for the day. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm well aware of what day it is. I, I just thought you might want to spend Saturday with your kids. I spend Saturdays in the cutting room. 
Like I told you, it's not nine to five. We'll be here at nine. I've seen that kid tonight. I mean, he just went nuts. Uh, can you blame him? No, I don't blame the kid. I just don't understand the father. What does he do, spend all of his time with his friends? I'm not so sure he lets himself have any. What are you talking about? In his position, maybe it's hard to have a friend. Maybe he's afraid people only want to be his friend because he's a celebrity and he's got lots of money. Nah, I don't buy that. I mean, fame and money shouldn't change anybody. If you pull over that market up there, I'm starving. Well, that food tonight was a little too fancy for me. Okay. I'll be right back. Jack. Yeah. I got a gun. I want your cash now. Are you kidding? I'm counting on my fingers to pay for these coal cuts. Don't give me that. You got driven up here in a limo, man. I'm telling you, I want your bucks now. Hey, friend. Can I help you? Don't you move, man. Come on, you don't want to shoot. Don't do what he says, John. He's a junkie. He'll kill you. Do what? Oh, yeah. Right, come on, you need help. Why don't you give me the gun? Man, I told you not to move! Give me the gun. I warned you, man! That's a no-no. What is going on here? He's a junkie, all right. Where are those two guys? I don't know. They must have run out. They had to have been scared to death. Yeah. OK, let's go. Incredible. I shot the guy, and he caught the bullet with his own two fingers, and he said it was a no-no. I am never doing drugs again. Give me a cup of coffee to take in the car. I'm late. Yes, sir. Hey, you two. How about a hug? Hi, Daddy. Hi, darling. Mm -hmm. oh, look at the size of you. How could you grow so much so soon, huh? I missed you. I missed you, too. <laughs> hey, my boy. What am I, Topper? Where's my hug, huh? Hey, you've done your share of growing, too, hmm? Yeah, I guess so. I'm uh, sorry I missed you last night. 
Couldn't be helped. Did you like the toys? Uh, yes, we played with all of them. Good. Where are you going? I've got to get some cutting done today. On a tight schedule. But if we get it all done today, we'll have all day tomorrow together. Can I go to work with you? We'd be quiet. Oh, sugar, when I'm working, I don't like anybody around. You understand? We wouldn't say a word. Karen, I'm late already. Jonathan and Mark will be here at 9. You'll have more fun with them. They're nice to you, aren't they? Yeah. Just uh, tell them what you want to do. And uh, here. Get yourself a little surprise. I gotta run. I'll see you later. Bye. Here you are. Thank you. If I get any important calls, I'll be in cutting room 23. Hold it there, Phil. Run that back. How far? Just where the boy starts to back up. I want to see if we can't intercut that with my reaction. Well, kid's real, real good there. I mean, it's going to be tough to cut away on that line. Let me see it anyway. Hey. You lied to me. You lied to me. I hate you! I hate you! You're right. He is good there. <laughs> Have to be objective with that kid. Still acting like a snot nose? Oh, kid's got a head out to here, thanks to his mother. That ought to be a rule. You can't be a child actor unless you're an orphan. <laughs> Let's keep going. Got to try to get through ten reels today. Uh, we'll never make that. We've got some big problems in reels eight and nine. That's going to take time. If we don't make it, we'll work Sunday. Let's go. You see if we can go the whole way. I can. You just watch. You don't want to toss the ball around. I'm sure. It'd be much fun sitting here. Just anything you want to do, I'm here. Mr. Gordon? No, wait a minute. It's Mark. Oh, Mark? Don't take this the wrong way, but it's kind of hard to have fun with people who are paid to play with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I do. Hey, come on! I'm buckling my sandals. Well, do it somewhere else! That's rude. It's my turn. Come on! I want to go! First. Hey, Brack. Somebody's picking on your sister. my turn. What's the idea? You want to push? Let's push. Mother! Wasn't that, wasn't that the kid with the chair? Yeah, that's the kid. How dare you pick on my son? He pushed my sister, didn't he? He most certainly did not. Would you like me to call the police? Now, that won't be necessary, will it? Just a couple of kids having an argument. Is this your child? No, just, just a friend of mine. Well, you should keep a better eye on him. My son is an actor in the middle of a very big picture. He could have been injured by this ruffian. Well, I know your son's an actor. He's working on the new Lance Gaylord picture, isn't he? Uh, Yes, he is. Thank you for recognizing him. Oh, yeah, I saw him on the set Friday when I was talking to Mr. Gaylord about taking care of his two children here. These are... Yeah, his, his kids. Oh, well, boys will be boys. <laughs> Tom, these are Mr. Gaylord's children. If we had known who they were, I, this never would have happened. I just thought... You thought what? Well, uh, I, I just didn't know they were Mr. Gaylord's children. You understand. 
very well. Yes. Well, you all have fun. Come, Tom. I never stop. Boy, what a phony. A kid needs to be taught a lesson or two. Well, that's my feeling exactly. Just a minute. Turn that back. What time is it? 6.30. Hello? Yeah. What? Oh, come on. Are they sure? Yeah. How bad? I don't give a about that. How bad has he got him? Can it be photographed? Can we cover it with... Yeah, yeah. No, I can't shut down. We'll have to recast. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tell Julian, Casper. Start as early as she can in the morning. I know it's a Sunday. We are shooting Monday. Mm. Goodbye. <sighs> Phil, go back to real one. We'll see what we can save without the kid. What are you talking about? Sweet little Tom. He's got chicken pox. My father's not going to like this. He doesn't want us here while he's working. Well, you don't have much choice if you want to see him. He's always working. It's all he cares about. Uh, maybe it's because it's all he's ever known. He started working when he was 10 years old. Never know what it was like to be a kid. But he doesn't have to work all the time now. He's got plenty of money. I know that. we got to get him to know it. Good luck. Danny, are you ready? Yes, Miss Cohen. You want to come on in? Uh, excuse me. Uh, here's the script. See, we'll be reading on page 32 and 74. Okay? We were just wondering where Lance Gaylord was. Mr. Gaylord will be here when I'm finished reading with all the boys. What's your name, son? Brock. All right, Brock, why don't you just have a look at it, and uh, it'll be about half an hour. Uh, Miss Cohen, I... Hey, what do you think of them apples? I think he's an actor. Come on, let's go. We shouldn't have come here anyway. You know what? I think you ought to read for that part. What for? I'm not an actor. Well, neither was your father. He got his first job. He was about your age, too. Come on, that's being silly. If you're scared, that's one thing. I'm not scared. I think your father'd get a kick out of him. That's because you don't know my father. Well, you know what? That makes two of us, doesn't it? Now, come on, what do you have to lose? I mean, the worst thing that can happen is you can end up spending some time with your father. That's what you want, isn't it? But I'm not an actor. Oh. You gonna tell me you never fibbed to get out of being punished? You never stood in front of your folks with those big tears running down your cheeks saying, I didn't do it, believe me, honest. You never did that? Sure I did. Did it with my mom lots of times. Did she believe you? Yeah. And you're an actor. Come on, give it a try. Come on, what do you say? All right, but it's a waste of time. All right. Let's take a look at those scenes. Now we can save all this footage. We'll just shoot the reverses on the kid. It'll save a lot of bucks. Huh. Lance? Hmm. How'd the readings go? Well, I thought we had a dry hole until the last kid. He's a knockout. What did Harry say? He loves him. The kid was nervous at first, but then Harry gave him a few directions, and bingo. I think he's a natural. Well, we'll go over there and read him. Okay. Phil, pull the shots of the kid and slug it out. Right. I'll be back. Hope the kid's good. You're not alone. This is 
is it. They're coming down the hall. All right. All right, hold the script up in front of your face. Let's see us. He's waiting in here. Brock, this is Mr. Gaylord. Is this some kind of joke? What? That's my son. What are you doing here? We just came here to see you, but they thought I was an actor. It, it was my idea, Mr. Gaylord. I thought the boy might have some fun with it. I hired you to keep an eye on the children, not be their agent. Well, I know that. Then I advise you to get on with your work. But he's so good, Lance. You really should hear him read. Miss Corn, stay out of it. Brock, I'll see you at home. I said I'll see you at home. We'll shoot around the boy tomorrow. Get it cast. Want to go to the movies? Mark will take us. Nah, you go ahead. I don't want to go without you. I did good today. You should have let me do it for him. I know. You know why he wouldn't let me? Because he was afraid he'd have to spend time with me. He doesn't want us here. That's not true. Yes, it is. He hasn't spent five minutes with us since we've been here. It's not his fault. That boy has chicken pox. It's just another excuse to be away. He doesn't love us. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. I don't know him, and he doesn't know me. I wish we'd never come here. I hate him. Brock! Go on, go to the movies. Maybe I can find what our father's in. That's the only way you'll get to see him. Go on, go! <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened. It wasn't your fault. I should have known better. Hey, did you finish reading that whole thing already? Yeah. How is it? It's all right. I kind of like that scene you were studying. One where the boy runs away. Yeah, that's what I feel like doing right now. Tell your father how you feel. A lot of good it did do. You don't know unless you try it. I can't talk to him. Why not? Because it's hard to explain. Well, try. I don't know. It's ever since I can remember. Everybody's always made a fuss over him. Kids always saying how lucky I was to have Lance Gaylord for a dad. I grew up thinking it was some kind of god, and it's hard to talk to a god. Oh, I don't know about that. He just doesn't care about me. All I can think about is his job. It's like the father in the script. Well, they got together in the end, didn't they? Sure, after the boy runs away. Then they must have talked it out, then. Yeah. Good. I always like a happy ending. Look, we're gonna take you to a movie. You coming? No, thanks. Okay. Mr. Smith? Yeah. I wish I could talk to my father the way I do to you. So do I, son. Hey. How'd the father find the boy at the end? Oh, he didn't run far off. He was hiding in town. Oh, he wanted him to find him? Sure he did. You know, it sounds to me like that part was made for you. I'll see you later.
are the kids? Karen's upstairs. Where's Brock? He's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? We took Karen to the movies today. When we got back, he was gone. I told you to keep an eye on those children every minute. He was upset. He didn't want to come with us. Then you should have stayed with him. If anything's happened to my son, you're going to pay. Who are you calling? The police. Who do you think? It's the man on his phone. He's all right. I think I know where he is. What do you mean, you know? I found this in the yard. It's the script he was rehearsing. I think he's run away. Run away? That's right. Why don't we take a ride? My son better be all right. Your son will be very surprised to hear that you cared. What are you talking about? If you'd stop worrying about being successful for five minutes, you'd know what I'm talking about. You broke his heart today. Oh, come on. That wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you filling his head with ideas about being a big star. You think he wanted that part for the glory? He wanted that part because he wanted to be with his father. You crazy. I feel very sorry for you, Mr. Caleb. You're a hero to strangers. And a stranger to your own children. Can you be so sure he's here? Because I think I know him better than you do. Are you there? Thank God you're all right. Me scared half to death. What'd you run off for? Because all you care about is being the sheriff, Pa. Look, what are you talking about? The script. Do the lines from the script. You're talking nonsense, son. You come on home now. Then we'll talk. I don't know how to talk to you. What do you mean? I mean, we've never done it. We've never really talked. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. That's silly. There's no reason to be afraid. Please help me, then. How, son? Do the lines. Do them! I've been looking all over for you, boy. What are you doing in here? I work here, Pa. What are you talking about? You get on home right now, you hear me? 
I hear you plain, but I'm not going. You'll do as I say. No, I won't. Not anymore. You want to wear that badge and get yourself killed, you go ahead. But I'm not going to be there to see you die. I love you, Pa. That's why I can't... I can't go to sleep every night and wonder if I'll see you the next morning or the next week or never. Go do what you have to, Pa. But I'm not going to be any part of it. No more. Goodbye, Pa. What can I do, Brock? How can I change? I'm really so tired of playing this part. I've... I've been this hero, this symbol for so long. I, I guess I'm afraid to have anybody really know me. Even my own son. That I love. Have a good lunch, girls. Can I help you? Yeah, Mr. Gaylord's gonna leave a pass for Gordon and Smith. Uh, let's see, Mr. Gaylord. Don't see your names down here. Uh, are you looking under Lance Gaylord? Yeah. Try looking under Brock Gaylord. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drive straight ahead. They're on the Western Street. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stealing a scene, but don't you go beating the hero at his own game. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Figured you would. We just wanted to say goodbye. I thought you were going to go fishing with us tomorrow. It's only a half-day boat. Uh, we'd like to, but we got another job. Come on, I'll I'll cover another day's pay. That's very kind of you, but it wouldn't be fair to my boss. You must have quite a boss. I'd like to meet him someday. I'm sure you will. Let's goodbye, guys. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I'll see you in a movie, son. Okay. Bye-bye. Lance, we're losing the light. There's no way we'll finish tonight. We'll pick up in the morning, huh? I know it's Saturday. Hold though. it, Harry. We're fishing tomorrow. You'll have to carry everybody if you want to take tomorrow then off. Then we'll carry everybody. I promised my kid. You got it. Gentlemen, that's a wrap. Uh...